What is up, Scorpio? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you. Scorpio. Scorpio. Justice, Page of Pentacles, and the Devil. Very interesting. So there's an attachment here to wanting to invest in a contract. Yeah, you're really wanting to go and talk and talk and talk and like maybe make things right with somebody. Yeah, you want a new beginning. And it's just waiting for the right opportunity. Knight of Cups, it's not the time to make this offer yet, but the Five of Cups in reverse, you both are just going through an emotional release. Yeah, this, there's a lot of attachment between the two of you. This could be like excessive attraction or it could be like codependency and addiction, fears, limiting beliefs, like that stuff that's standing in the way. Because this desire to go towards justice with the Knight of Swords uh, is right next to the devil, which tells me that it's something that's like, it's hard to resist. That it's not time yet with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Let's look at justice. So we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's going to be a reconciliation. It's just going to happen on divine time here with justice. The Three of Cups is about celebration and coming back together. I really like this energy. I like it. It's going to work out. King of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Okay, somebody is very worried that this reconciliation is not going to happen. Um, and it's almost like they need to give themselves this time to recognize that they can be the king of pentacles they know they are right so this king of pentacles right now probably feels insecure like they can't build or they can't be a good partner or maybe a good business owner and it's like they're trying to find ways to go after it and fix it and fix it but that's an that's rooted in the fear of failure which is why both of those are in reverse now with the six of wands upright they're gonna recognize this they're gonna see that okay i can have this but our, it can also change like how i'm moving toward it Let's see what else is going on here. Ten of Cups, King of Wands, and the Fool. It's a very, uh, it's a very like stressful energy. There's something about this that makes me like really like anxious in this energy. With the Ten of Cups and the King of Wands, it's almost like a fear of losing this King of Wands. So this could be losing. Uh, again, this could be fear of failure. This could be losing someone you have a lot of love for. There's a new beginning coming in and it's, it's like ruminating on how can I rebuild this? How can I fix this? It's really, it's not a fun energy. Okay. So here we go. So now the heart space is opening and somebody's realizing they're not being honest with themselves about how they feel. So often when we're attached to things, whether they be people or outcomes, like let's say you're like dying for this promotion at work and then you realize, oh my gosh, I actually don't want this. I was just so set on it for so long. I didn't realize I didn't want it anymore. I didn't open up my view of like other goals or other opportunities. The same goes for people. I feel like somebody's realizing their attachment to something and realizing they don't really want it as much as they think they do. Yeah. Queen of swords in reverse, four of wands. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse, somebody's just really wanting to go back to the person who ended this, the feminine, right? With the Four of Wands in reverse. They're wanting to go back and really talk about it so they can get out of this state of like inner conflict and move into a state of peace. Yeah, I don't think that it's, they're not going to be received well right now. This is not the time to go and take action on that, no. Oh yeah, lots of nines coming out. Nines are the mastery of self. So you're mastering your own emotion and your own anxiety. Yeah. With the nine of swords, that's anxiety, sleepless nights, really reckless, uh, restless energy. With the moon there, it's almost like this individual is not seeing that in order to have this new beginning, they have to go through the healing of their own emotional self and mental self first. Really get their head and their heart on the same page because they're sitting in a lot of the unknown and that's why they're taking this action because they want a solution. They want to know where it's going, but reality of it is that sometimes we're not going to know and sometimes we need to find our, ourselves the, a space of peace in the unknown and be comfortable in the uncomfortable space of not knowing. And that's kind of what this lesson is because by doing so, then your new beginning comes in. Yeah, because waiting for this feminine 
to be receptive it's like they're waiting 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 and with the ten of wands it's driving this person crazy they just really need to surrender four of pentacles and then king of cups but that's really hard for them they have a lot of love for this person but by surrendering that's when they get their manifestation with the magician there let's look at the knight of cups ace of cups five of swords two of cups in reverse and the two of wands we'll get one more ten of swords yep Okay, so it's like here here comes in this offer, right? This offer of love. It's not a genuine offer. Again, I feel like this is the masculine again because they're really just uncomfortable sitting in the conflict. I'm not going to lie, Scorpio. I kind of think this is you. And they're like, I want to fix it. I want to fix it. This is really redundant. And the two of wands, then they finally get to this place of making the decision like, okay, it is done. I just got to let it go. I just got to let it go. And that's when they upgrade to the freaking emperor. Look at that. So that's the purpose of it. This person is realizing that they are chasing something that is not meant to happen on their time because the emperor, emperor in reverse is my way or the highway. It's a very controlling energy. They're learning how to upgrade into an emperor that can be supportive, reliable, uh, caring, intuitive, structured, but not a dictator, not a dictator, right? Let's look at the five of cups. So, yep. So what we're releasing is the energy of oppression or control and learning how to build things, relationships and situations in a way that is not oppressive or oppressing, right? Getting out of the fear of not having, the fear of lacking that person or that job or that money or that situation, right? Getting out of the fear of lack so you can move into a new direction with the chariot in reverse and the hermit there, this is what this individual needs to focus on internally is how they might have a tendency of wanting to push things in a certain direction when actually the universe is like, hey, I'm trying to bring you inward. I'm trying to show you this part of yourself so you can heal this, right? Bottom of the deck is the king of swords in reverse. This is what they're not seeing is the need to transform to allow these old ways of being to crumble because that is when, right, judgment, they get their queen of cups, their true pair. Okay, my dear? Scorpio, if you want a personal reading to dig into your own situation, go ahead, book it down below and like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want a Reiki session to help you calm down, maybe help you with some of that anxiety, feel free to book a Reiki session as well. I hold collective Reiki sessions every other Saturday. They're $11 for a 45 minute session. It's held over Zoom. You can do it from the comfort of your home and I'd love to have you. So check it out. It's all on my site and check out Patreon if you want a free 10 minute reading and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.